Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Phil Monteleone, the book peddler, coming to you from my shop in Smithville Flats, New York. If you haven't, I hope you like and subscribe to my book peddler YouTube channel. You can stay up to date on book picks and store out store activity. If you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified when a new video comes out. Um, and I went on a massive uh, book pick. I started in room one. Um, there's about seven rooms, and it was the smaller of the rooms, and uh, there's there's over 10,000 books. It's quite an amazing um, collection. I'll talk to you a little bit more about it as the video proceeds and about who it was, who, who owned the collection, but a, quite a well-balanced library, private library, very scholarly and wonderful publications. Um, but before I do, I have some shout outs I'd like to give. My buddy Andy from the Bronx. Andy sent me this shirt here. Uh, a precinct in the city made it. it says reap what you sow 2020 welcome to the five borough barbecue and it's holding the the city in flames um so these were specially made i know a lot of uh ex nypd guys and uh some current guys and i really i hope everybody's you know okay out there uh witnessing the the bolsheviks destroy the city i don't know what what more of an accurate term to use but, but bolsheviks um so hopefully everybody's good out there and i appreciate the shirt andy i wear it proud um who else here oh i gotta give a shout out to alan alan wrote a uh came to the shop uh, last weekend wrote a nice blog post about his visit and uh, i'm gonna link up his blog in the description and if you have a moment go ahead and check out his uh his writing so i really appreciate that alan thank you very much and uh, let me give a shout out to new subscribers. Then we're going to get started on the pick. Sorry I'm taking a while, but hey, it must be done. I mean, everyone, people support me. I appreciate it. So let's start. Christina Mamer, thank you for your subscription. Brian Case, thank you. It was nice to meet, meet you and your wife, I believe. Um, coming through the shop. My arm's falling off. I got to switch hands. Uh, Jen Bootsy, Samuel Powell, Joseph Laspada. Florida Midman and Sheriff Kale. Thank you guys for your subscription. I appreciate it. Glenn Elgar, thank you, brother. Uh, Micah Howell, Brittany Lindenthaler, thank you for your subscriptions, guys. Um, it's always a pleasure having you in the shop and seeing you around. Um, Joe DeBrit, thanks for your description, brother. Uh, and uh, Cynthia Higgins, thank you very much. And uh, that's it. So YouTube channel has grown. It's kind of neat. So, uh, without further ado, um, let me take you to these titles. I'll take you to ones on the desk first. These have just been processed. I'll show, I'll give you an overview first. Everything on this table, everything under the table, on the chair, everything in front of my desk, everything on top of my desk, to the side of it. These are all part of that pick. The box is here. Um... Everything back here, this is behind. Everything was part of the pick for the most part. And it's pretty amazing. I'll take you down the spines of these. Beautiful, brand new looking books. And there's poetry, there's science, philosophy, uh, classical works. That my thing got a little blurry. Okay, so critical theory there's postmodernism there's law there's there's catholic history there's there's greek and roman um and again they're all clean beautiful titles ezra pound i'll show you this stack here if anybody sees something that they're interested in go ahead reach out and i'll hook you up let me take you over to the table here real quick show you these these are beautiful books Look at the uh, bindings on these. Just gorgeous. And these are facsimile reproductions of books that are in the Vatican. An Italian binding of like the, uh, is it 14th century? Let's read it. Binding. The binding on this volume is a facsimile of the original on exhibition among the treasures of the Vatican. And is here reproduced by special permission for the first time. It is an Italian binding of the second half of the 16th century. The design makes a very beautiful panel upon which are stamped the arms of Cardinal Michael Bonelli. The title of the original book is stamped above the arms while the name of the Cardinal occurs below. So look at just the quality. They're very, very nice. I got like six volumes. Here's a blue one. They're similar to like the Mark Twain facsimiles, just clean uh, mint reproductions, hand cut pages. 
Very nice. So those are those are special. Let's see this one. The Man of Galilee. 12 Scenes of the Life of Christ. It's very difficult doing this with one hand, but I'm trying. A nice book. Huh? A lot of art books. Uh, let me show you the art books here. Okay, we got uh, Mark Chagall. A lot of uh, Chagall. William Blake. Uh, that's a little too much. <laughs> Kandinsky. Um, let's see the, the, actually the spines here. Uh, Ryan, if Ryan, I know you like art, art books. So if you see any of these you like, there's a pile behind my desk too. Salvador Dali, a ton of Chagall. All right, let's see over here what we got. Oh, what do you know? More Chagall. <laughs> Joan Miro. All right, that's something else. All right ton of art so very cool now let's take over here again this was a very um library i flipped to myself real quick um the man was a lawyer he owned eight properties um and he's got such a well balance of books like you'll you'll see postmodernist uh thought uh jacques derrida and um what the heck else uh what is it? just a whole vast variety nietzsche um all these different Greek, French, German philosophies and histories, all these also just um, opposing viewpoints. And uh, it's quite a collection. I mean, from my understanding, the, the man was a bit of a recluse, extremely uh, uh, bright, but socially very awkward. And, um, you know, it was such an impressive collection. I'm about to show you more of names that aren't all too uh f familiar to, to to the general public but but should be so let me uh so you'll have pockets like here's a nice c.s lewis pocket of books and there's probably you know 15 c.s lewis throughout the collection i'm going to just show you uh, some of these but very nice now we're going to move where there's uh hegel north of fry there's a lot of books uh, by Fry. Here's somebody that's not too well known. I studied him in school a bit. Wick Wittgenstein. He was big with language, uh, philosophy, language, mathematics. Very interesting guy. I might actually keep a couple of these titles to uh, to read for myself. Um, very, very interesting guy. Um, Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound was a poet. He was, he was very uh, persecuted. Eustace Mullins was kind of, Ezra Pound was kind of Eustace Mullins' mentor. Another extremely controversial figure. There's another Pound. And let me show you another uh, figure of controversy here. Uh, Martin Bernal. Okay, he wrote uh, Black Athena. Here's volumes one and two. There is a third volume. And uh, this is a, 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 biogra a geography of life. I'm going to keep this one. Um, but and here's another one, Heresy in the University, the Black Athena Controversy and the Responsibilities of American Intellectuals. His whole premise was, was uh, the, uh, he was linking, um, what is it now, African Egypt uh, influence on the creation of Greek civilization. It ruffled a lot of feathers in the academic world, and it still does today. I'm keeping this one too, Etne Gilson on to Thomism. Uh, so that's just a personal interest. I'm interested in uh, St. Thomas, St. Thomas Aquinas. Now, these ones are cool. F.A. Hayek, The Road to Serfdom. Again, I have one of his original uh, lectures that he gave in Dublin, Ireland. Brilliant guy. Uh, classical liberal. Thomas Jefferson like liberalism. Not the uh, whatever it is today. I don't even know what it is. Marxism, the Constitution of Liberty by Hayek, very cool, and yeah, the bins are are filled with 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 great literature. Uh, let me show you a rare uh, one here that I dug up. This is Walter Lippmann, and it's a first edition called Public Opinion. It's got its issues, but um, 1922, very rare book to uh to come across so that was a a, a very uh, nice find and uh then like here's a bunch i'm putting on the shelves a lot of science there's leather bound books 
all sorts of stuff nice sets so i'm gonna flip the camera back i hope you got a good feel for um the material it, it's been a lot of fun this is going to be part one because uh th there's so there's so much material here and uh, i'm going to link up my seller site so please uh, go to my seller site and you can see the books as they go up if you have interest in any be sure to reach out and contact me and i'm going to give you a better deal than the listing price of course when we when we move direct um and uh you know there'll be more uh picks at this place to come it's going to be quite a process to get all this out and i've been working around the clock to try to uh, get the material online so with that being said i hope you got enough of a view of uh gen generally what, what's going on here and um hey there'll be more to come i appreciate all your support and uh until next time we'll see you later